<laughs> stupid idiot. That's a full odds! I swear I don't have the shiny charm. How the fuck am I on the front page of Twitch? Girl, get your shit together. He has another oink alone? <laughs> oh no. Kill. Murder. That's the good kush. Someone name a woman who's absolutely just fucking shredded. Welcome to Toxmay TTV. I'm your host, Toxmay, and this is the first part of my shiny badge quest journey through Pokemon Violet. This series, I will be playing through the base game in both parts of the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero DLC, while shiny hunting a new shiny Pokemon before every badge in the base game and before every major checkpoint in both parts of the DLC. Remember, the Titan Battles and Team Star bases count as badges too. So there's 18 in the base game alone. All this hunting will be done using the power of sparkling sandwiches. Not full odds, but I won't have my usual shiny charm. But it's a bit more challenging to find these shinies. The base game portion of the badge quest will be broken up into three parts consisting of six badges each, and a fourth part for the Area Zero endgame portion, where you, the viewers, will be able to comment to help me decide which two members of every video's team will make it to the post game with me. And I would like to be clear, this is not a Nuzlocke. It's just a fun way to find some shinies that I'll actually use and play through one of my favorite games again. So if you enjoyed the Badge Quest, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future episodes and drop a like or comment let me know you'd like to see more content like this. The first target is Rookity, one of my favorite Route 1 birds of all time. I chose this as my first team member because I find it fitting to start the game with a Route 1 bird and flying types are super effective against the first two gym badges. Rookity was also one of my longest shiny hunts on shield, so there's some extra appeal to it in my silly monkey brain. But enough talk, let's get on with the first badge. Oh, oh, there it is! Guys, it's the Rookity! <gasps> Do you see the little yellow burb? Oh man, oh man. Oh hell yeah. Yellow baby! So we didn't get the whole Corvus Squire like I was kind of wanting to, but that is completely okay. That is completely okay. Oh, and it's female. Oh, I don't have a name for her. Um, chat, chat, I need name suggestions. And I just realized I was not recording, so I'm gonna have to pull this from the VOD. <laughs> Ooh, Athena, I like that name. I love that name. Okay, y'all, so for video people, you may notice that this is a level 22 rookie against my placeholder level 12 starter. Got to level 12 purely by doing sandwiches. This is sandwich number four. So me and my chat here at twitch.tv slash may have made an agreement. We agreed that for this first shiny, because we didn't want to spend time like leveling up the starter or progressing in the story at all to grind. We wanted to just get on with the shiny hunting. We are allowing me to use one Master Ball for this first shiny. Don't ask why I have three Master Balls. That's for something entirely different. You don't need to worry about it. We're gonna Master Ball this. It'll be our one Master Ball we get to use. Basically, when we find the Master Ball or get the Master Ball later in the game, we are not allowed to use it after that. We are preemptively using it now. So, let's Master Ball this rookie. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The females are fussier than the males. If another creature dirties a female rookie's wings, it'll peck the defender or the offender relentlessly in a burning rage. Ooh. Burning rage over being clean. That sounds like some Greek goddess shit right there. This is Athena. Oh my god, this is so cool. So this is my first time finding... Actually, no, technically it's not my first time finding a shiny without the shiny charming Scarlet Violet. It's my second time because my first shiny on stream when the game first came out was... It was an Outbreak Odds Flittle without the shiny charm. Yes, it's sandwiches, but no shiny charm. It's not completely full odds, but it's a little more challenging and a little more meaningful. I don't know, I like this. This is a good feeling. Welcome aboard Athena in the Master Ball. That's so cool. Can we get some nature guesses on this bird, y'all? She is gonna carry me through a lot of battles. You're absolutely right, chat. I'm gonna nature guess Adamant because it would be really cool if she was Adamant. Alrighty, so Atlas is brave. I say Adamant. She is naive. Fantastic. She's a little bit of a dumbass, but it says she's highly curious. So like, she wants to learn. Okay, no mark or anything. We do have Title Three powers, so we did have a good chance at a mark, but that's okay. That's okay. I will take it. We 100% take those. 
Alrighty, y'all. Well, I think it's time to get onto the first gym. What do you think? Alright, let's go, baby. You got this, Athena. This is your real battle debut. We're just gonna ignore that she did a battle in the olive roll to get that shortcut thing unlocked. We're ignoring that. That wasn't her battle debut. This is her battle debut. Oh, yeah! She doesn't listen to me. You're right, chat. I thought because I caught her, she would listen to me, but... Uh, no, apparently not. Okay, so she listened that time. Is it like a 50-50 roll? I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. She should listen after this battle. Good, good. Because I think right now, up, like, up to level 20 will obey me. Oh no, a Teddy Ursa? That's not a... That's not a bug type. I'm gonna do a fighting move. Her... I gotta admit, like, first time playing through this game, this was a really cool scene when it was like, oh, they're gonna send out aces that aren't the main type, you know? Athena is loafing around. Girl, get your shit together. Girl, get your shit together. I'm gonna do one potion, just in case she doesn't listen again. Uh, she didn't obey again. What the hell? I'm losing these coin tosses. You gotta listen this time. No? Oh my god. This is bad, y'all. This is bad. And we lost. Great. So, uh, that happened. We're gonna try this again. I keep forgetting that I can do the gimmick too. Who knew, right? Damn it, Athena. Get your shit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen the whole terrestrializing Teddy Ursa before. Ooh, so great. Yeah, y'all, can we get some hype in the chat for Athena? Can we hype our girl up? Girl, you cannot ignore me this long. Come on, just one. There we go. There we go. We got the one attack off. That's what we needed. Okay, hopefully this is like the most difficult gym battle of the entire badge quest, in all honesty. It should be. Yay, we defeated Mommy with our over-leveled burb. Thank you, Bug Mommy, for the praise. I thrive off of praise. You didn't hear me say that. We did it! With the first gym badge out of the way, it was time for the second target of the badge quest. Mareep. This is a shiny I've hunted time and time again because it's an easy and fun hunt to do, but I've never actually used an Ampharos before. So with Athena by my side to take care of the second gym with ease, I figured now is the best time to shiny hunt something that isn't necessarily a great offensive addition to the team. But what can I say? I just think the cotton candy sheep is neat. Hey Red, I have a question for you, if you don't mind. Red, you didn't buy me viewers. Right? I won't be mad, I just want to know what's up with this viewer count thing because like, did I tell y'all? So, me and Jesse were looking at my stream analytics from last night, which mind you, I never look at my stream analytics nowadays because I'm kind of just happy with whoever shows up and interacts, I don't really worry about the numbers. But after the strangeness of last night, me and Jesse wanted to see where the viewers were coming from and if they're all coming from one place or somewhere else or what. It seems like not all of the views are coming from one place, unless they're all being pushed through some VPN or something. I... I don't know. It's just weird. I still don't know what's up with the viewer count. So if there is anyone who is tentative about saying hello in a chat this big or with this many viewers, just know most of them probably aren't real, I'm pretty sure. Um, if any of you in chat are real right now, I fully encourage you to speak up and say hello. Because I am actually very curious about how many new people are actually being brought in here, or if it's just some weird bot algorithm. You're not real? Okay, okay. I'll- I'll put you in the not real pile. Just tell me on the front page of Twitch. The fuck? How the fuck am I on the front page of Twitch? Y'all, okay, when I tell you that my average viewer count is usually, like, single digit, I'm not even kidding. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Feel opening Twitch count as a viewer. Oh! That is such a big brain answer. Oh my god, you're absolutely right. Okay, but why am I being featured? What the fuck? Like, November isn't like trans women with fake red dyed hair awareness month or something, right? Like, can someone verify this for me? 
I mean, I guess this is my chance to shine, but also like, I don't really know how. I kind of just shiny hunt and like make YouTube videos, which by the way, for our new people in chat, feel free to do exclamation point YouTube if you want a link to the channel to check it out. A lot of long form compilation stuff and other things. Working on a soul link series with my girlfriend. I put out like at least one or two videos a week, sometimes three or four, depending on how crazy things are getting in stream. Oh, that's a pink sheep! Oh, guys, we got it on the first sandwich! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! It's it's her or him? I don't know. Y'all, hey yo! We got her on the first sandwich. We got him on the first sandwich. Sorry, bud. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so amazing! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get him in a great ball. I'm gonna get him in a great ball. This is so good. This is so good. There we go, first ball. Oh, hell yes. And also, for anyone who's like, hey, is that not your first Mareep? Why did that auto-capture with the crit capture? It's because this account is also my backup storage for all my spare shinies that I don't have room for on my main account, so I have, like, six pages of shinies in my PC right now. But this guy? This guy and Athena are my favorites right now. I'm so happy with them. Obviously, we need to give this guy a name. I was hoping for a female one, because this name is more intended for a female one, but I'm gonna name him Candy, because he literally looks like Cotton Candy. Y'all, it's Candy. Oh my god, I can't believe... That's literally halfway through the first sandwich. That's insane. I don't have Shiny Charm. Like, whomst? Excuse me? Alrighty, y'all. Well, we get to go take on the second gym now. Let's go. Sudowoodo's gonna destroy me. Oh, you're absolutely right. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, Athena is a little overleveled. She's right up by the level cap of, like, what this, the first gym allowed me to tame and everything. Here comes a certified gay descending from above in dramatic fashion, as always. Very classy, Brassius. How are you? And just a reminder for everyone that this is not a Nuzlocke. It's okay for Pokemon to die. I just don't want them to die. And I might do a death counter. Should I do a death counter? I think I'm gonna do a death counter. All right, we're just gonna set up with a quick home clause. I'm sorry, but Candy is not gonna see a lot of this battle, unfortunately. Sleep powder, oh shit. Oh no. Do I have any? I don't have any awakenings. Oh no. I gotta just hope to wake up eventually. Oh, Athena woke up after only one turn of being asleep. Let's go, baby. Got a home claws up and we're about to sweep. Wow, I didn't even have any commentary for that. That was just a one turn dead small move. Also chat, who is Professor Saguaro and why am I only hearing now that he's a certified gay? Here's the thing, this thing is programmed at turn one to always use Trailblaze to increase its speed. Therefore, we can get at least one free hit off of it, and we might even still outspeed after. Is that the one that looks like Dougal? Is that the teacher that looks like Dougal, the Elite Four guy? I don't know all the professors at the school. That's Hassel. Oh yeah, Brassius and Hassel are 100% gay for each other. Brassius gave Hassel a motherfucking Applin, which in the Gala region is a sign of romance and betrothal. He gave him an Applin that is now the Flapple on his Dragon-type team. You know? We're fine, we're fine. We outspeed. Easy dubs, everybody. Easy dubs. We don't even need a death counter. We don't even need it, y'all. Let's go, baby. Avant-garde this ass. Ooh! <gasps> Athena's evolving already, y'all. Are you guys ready to see our little girl grow up just a little bit more? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, you're so cool! Oh my god. She's growing up so fast, y'all. Literally before our very eyes, our girl is growing up. It's time for my rock weakness. We're going for Makuhita next. Or at least I think we are. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, we did it! <laughs> I forgot to do the thing. For our third badge, we were starting to look a bit weak against a rock type like the Titan Cloth. But I figured a fighting type like Makuhita would do a good job of offsetting our weaknesses, and Hariyama seemed like a fun Pokemon to use. So I set off toward the Barrens, challenging trainers along the way to level up. But I'll let the clip take it from here. God, I wish I was brave enough 
Wait a minute. That's not a shiny Taurus back there, is it? I could have sworn I saw a black head. Yeah, let me out of here, let me out of here, let me out of here. I can't tell in this lighting. Does that one look different? Do you guys see that one in the middle, like, laying down? Does that one look different to you? You're not shiny, are you? No, I don't think it is. I think it was just the lighting. Yeah, it was just the lighting. See, and that's exactly why I can't hunt this thing. Is because that'll happen. I couldn't get away. What the hell? Okay, I guess we're fi fighting these things too. One more potion. Because I'm not recording right now, which means if I die right now and need to include this in the video, that means I have to get it from the VOD, and I don't want to have to get it from the VOD. One HP. Let's go. I win. The shiny actually has colored horns, though. Do they? Is that the tell? Oh, I guess I do have to include this in the video now, because Candy's evolving. Alrighty, y'all. Candy is evolving. Let's do this. Aw, oh, look at that sheep. It doesn't look too much different than the non-shiny, but it'll look crazy when it, um, he's an Ampharos. Well, okay. Now we're gonna go <laughs> fight all these other ch trainers. No! Okay, I'm gonna cut here. <laughs> hey, you want a battle? Hello, 23 Oinkalon. I can do this. I can do this. What the fuck does Covet do? What does that do? Oh shit. Everyone you follow on Twitch is a stoner. Maybe stoners just get along with everybody, you know? Oh no, Athena! Damn, Athena's not leveling up anymore this fight, but... But... Candy might be able to. Oh no, she's about to get fucked. That thing used Dig. Oh, this is about to fuck Candy up. Bye, Candy. Yep, there we go. Good job, Athena. <laughs> Too bad Candy couldn't get any of the XP. He has another Oink alone? <laughs> Hold up. I'm fucked. I'm actually fucked. It's so Jover, y'all. I'm gonna wipe to some pigs. Crit, crit, crit. No. Oh, it's throwing. It's throwing. Come on, crit, crit, crit. No. Okay. Well. Oh, wait. That wasn't even death number one. This is death one, two, and three now. Shit. I'm actually kind of fucked here. I think the best I can hope for. Oh, God. It's going to go for dig again, though. I'm just going to go for the thunder wave. Oh, it didn't headbutt. Oh. And it crit me. Okay, that that crit might have mattered. Oh yeah, I wiped, so that's um four deaths now. Their candy evolved and I'd realize exactly how frail our team was. So up in the barrens, it's time to catch our third member. Alrighty y'all. We got ten minutes left on this sandwich. Who thinks we're gonna find the shiny this sandwich? And who thinks we're gonna find it next sandwich? And who thinks that we're just fucked for the rest of the night? I think we're gonna find it next sandwich, quite personally. I think that Marie popped just a little too fast, and now we're gonna go a little over odds. And we're getting a good encounter rate on these fellas, but I think it's still gonna be next sandwich that we get it. Oh, there it is! <gasps> Yo! That's a shiny Makuhita! Yo, on the, on the first sandwich! Literally near the end of the first sandwich. Yo! Hold up! Look at that guy! Yo! Oh my god! Okay, it's a guy, it's a guy. Oh man, that's so cool. Oh, that's so hype. Hell yes! Okay, I'm just gonna start chucking balls at this guy. Because I'm a little afraid of him being like the same level as me. Okay, I don't think that caught because I already have Makuhita registered to my Pokedex. We're gonna Great Ball him again. Go on, go on again. Oh, it didn't go in. We are going to swap into Candy and we're gonna Thunder Wave him. He's setting up. This is scary. I really hope Makuhita's really slow. 
Hoping it's really slow so I can outspeed and Thunder Wave. Oh, he's just setting up bulk ups on me. Landed the Thunder Wave. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now will he go in the ball? Please go in the ball, dude. I'm begging you. Oh, thank god. Okay. Woo! I know I saved beforehand, but like... Oh, jeez. And I did turn autosave off earlier. I realized that I still had autosave on. And I literally turned that off like 15 minutes ago. Give Makuhita a nickname. Hell yeah, we're gonna give this guy a nickname. His name is Poe. Just like the big guy from Kung Fu Panda. You know, the panda. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's name is Poe. Which I think Poe is also the name of the red Teletubby. So like, there's that too. <laughs> I might be wrong about that. Someone in the comments fact checked me about Teletubby names. Already all so. I said this earlier, but I forgot to do it right after that. We did not do a nature guess on the Murray now Flaffy. We didn't do a nature guess on Candy here. And we need to do a nature guess on Poe. So, in the chat, go ahead and drop your nature guesses for Candy, the Flaffy. She showed up, like, halfway through the first sandwich, so I'm gonna nature guess Hasty on her. Alright, Jesse doubling down on the Hasty as well. Atlas says Bold on the Flaffy. He is... Serious. No, Mark. Okay. We're gonna go over to Poe here. I don't know. When I think of Poe from Kung Fu Panda, I think Brave. So I'm gonna guess Brave. Alright, Jesse says Timid. Atlas says Impish. I say Brave. He is careful. Also, no, Mark. Damn. That's okay. That's okay. This is Poe. My guy. My dude. Alright, sick. Well, we got him. Let's go heal up and get on with the Stone Titan, y'all. Oh, look at that crab. Look at that boy. Damn, boy, he's thick. Damn, boy. Okay, I see you. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, I forgot it scripted that he just climbs up there. Hang on, I want to watch this animation. I want to see how clunky it is. Oh, yep, that's pretty clunky. He just phased on through the wall there. Okay, love that. Love it. All right, Makuhita, you ready to punch this crab? I like how the music in stream just lined up with the start of this battle. That's super cool. Oh no. He doesn't know a fighting move. Um, We're gonna belly drum. Can no longer escape, oh no. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go belly drum knockoff. Rock smash, hold up, that's not good. Oh, okay, we one-shot it with a knockoff. <laughs> to be fair, we did belly drum. I'm sorry, Poe, but do you learn any fighting moves here? Yeah, what are you what are you doing not having force palm, dude? What are you doing? Can I jump on top of this crab? Crab! Oh wait! Oh, right, he's about to fucking kill me. Bonk! I'm dead. The crab is finding the good weed. He got that good kush. Yeah, I found it. Arvin, where have you been? Okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna go for the fake out. We're gonna go for the fake out. Oh, I didn't heal up. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna one-shot this thing anyways, with this Terra Force Palm. Do I one-shot? Let's find out. <laughs> it does look really good with the Shiny Makuhita. I will say that does look very nice. Ooh, that did not one-shot. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, I got the Para though! Yo! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Let's go attack Rose, Speed Rose. Oh, defense fell, though, and special defense fell. Okay, okay. Well, it's a good thing this thing is a physical attacker, not a special attacker. Now I just gotta get one more force palm in here. This should take care of it. We're Gucci. We're good. We good. Yay! Look at Poe! He did it! What a man. What a guy. I love him. Also, poor crab. Don't say poor crab. It 
literally, I had to fight it, okay? Don't say poor crab. Call it a Titan badge. We did it! Let's go! Obviously, we need to share the sandwich with our dog. Like, that's what I would do with my dog. Arvin is heartbroken that I just fed my dog the sandwich that he just worked so hard on. Which, to be fair, I should have given Maridon, like, half of it, not the whole thing. Fuck off, Maridon. <laughs> this is mine now. Oh, right, magical dog time. Yes, I finally have Dash. This is gonna be amazing. The next day, I was ready to take on the Titan Bombardier. Katie still wasn't great offensively, so I wanted something stronger to take out this big-ass bird. So, I chose Roly Coley as our fourth target, being another fun and fairly easy shiny hunt around the right level. Since I got in Poe pretty fast, I was ready to settle in for a longer hunt like Athena. But sometimes we just keep getting lucky. Oh, that's a shiny already! <gasps> Yo! This sandwich has literally been going for like three minutes. Oh, I was worried that the shades would make that hard to see, but no, that is so obvious. Oh my god. Y'all? That's a shiny already. How about that? Yo. Oh, and it's a woman. Okay, we're just gonna chuck some gray balls at her. Wait. Why wasn't I on... Was I not on Maridon right there? Hold up. <laughs> okay, we caught it, but... Was my character missing from Maridon? Was I invisible? I think I was invisible when that shot went through. <laughs> Chunks of the surface of this Pokemon's body that have grown old and flaked off have long been used for fuel as an alternative to coal. Aw, the renewable! Y'all, it's literally like renewable coal. Why was Chairman Rose trying to get infinite energy when they literally had Roly Coley and Galar? Like, what? Excuse me? Oh, that's so sick. Alright, y'all, we need a name for a female Roly Coley. And I am so drawing a blank right now. I was planning on thinking about this name for the next, like, three sandwiches. Someone name a buff woman. Someone name a woman who's absolutely just fucking shredded. Because the last time I caught one of these on uh, my Shiny Charm account, I named him Dwayne, like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, that guy, Rhea Ripley the wrestler. You know what, fuck it, we'll name her Rhea. Rhea? That's actually a very cute name. She's hot as fuck, to be honest. Well, this is gonna be a fire type, so I guess that matches as well. You know what, you know what, I'm definitely gonna be looking up, like, what this wrestler looks like, for personal reasons, don't at me. Um, Editing Toxic, go ahead and throw a picture of the wrestler woman up on the screen and let everyone gaze upon awe at the beauty. I don't know, I haven't seen her yet, but like, I'm assuming. Chat says she's hot. Welcome aboard, Rhea. Happy to have you. Now, let's go kill a freaking bird. What the carkel? I can punch you. It's funny because it's Bombardier, so it could be Bombarderer, like Bird Murderer. Bomb oh shit, Poe's evolving! Yo, okay. Yo, let's go, Poe! Ah, big man! Big man is ready to go fight a goddamn bird. Let's go. Alright, y'all, we're playing pinball now. This is like reverse pinball. Scary pinball. I noticed that they made Pokemon stop spawning around here. That's probably for the best because, uh, they're doobie boulders. And then they literally just have sticks sticking out of the ground to be like, Hey, uh, go make these rocks bounce. What the fuck? Hold up. Where's Burb? Burb spotted. Oh, we just get right into it. Okay, I see. Well, obviously we gotta start with a fake out. Oh, that does so much damage. You know what, you know what? Even though she's a higher level and it's gonna hit even harder, we gotta give Rhea a chance to shine. Plus, like, you know, maybe evolve her after this battle would be cool. We're just gonna do a little rock throw real quick. Or not rock throw, ancient power, that's what I did. Boink! Oh, it's still, okay, okay, I see. Still hits pretty hard, but it is a Titan after all. There we go. Yeah, break that cave open, baby. The bird's about to find the good Kush. 
Oh, it's eating that bitter Urban Mystica. Let's go, baby. Damn, we're just jumping right into the double battle. I don't even get a chance to heal or anything. Come on. Okay, we start with the fake out again. How much does this do? Good, good damage still, good damage still. Ooh, SmackDown, I wanna use SmackDown. Is Rhea healed up or is she just fucked? She's just fucked, okay, well, uh, Poe, you can take care of this, right? I, I think you can take care of this. Uh-oh. Almost got it, got the paralysis off. Okay, that's good, that's good. How about being full parried or just dying to this, <laughs> to this rock slide? Thanks, Arvin. Yay, we defeated the Titan Bomb Birder. Where's the Schweed? Where's the Schweed? Oh, look at that green. That's the good sticky icky. That's the good Kush. Is this where we learn about my Bostiff? We did it! Let's go! I did not expect to already be at this point today. I'm still just so surprised that that roller coli shines so fast. That was crazy. And we got quite a few encounters on the way up here, so the next sandwich might already be kind of cooked a little. Yes, I'll give my sandwich to Maridon. Good thing I made extra. What a nice guy. Oh, I didn't realize that this was the water one. Ooh, I can actually go in the water now. Interesting, interesting. I would like to get the wall climbing one soon. I don't think we're going to be doing that today, though. Because up next, we have the fire team star base. But first, we need to find ourselves another shiny, so let's get to it. After the Flying Titan, I'd planned to hunt Sandow to help us get through the Fire Team Star base that was next and the Electric Gym after that. So I tried hunting it, but the area that it spawns was right over by the Iron Treads Titan, and I kind of accidentally initiated the battle and couldn't get out of it, so I had to reset the sandwich and try heading back over there for another shot. That's when this happened. Oh my god, is that a shiny Ghastly? <gasps> Guys, that's a full-on shiny ghastly! Oh my god! Yo! Yo! That's a full odds! This is- Okay, so, for- for video people purposes, we're on our way to... do the next hunt for... the fire team start- Huh? Guys! Guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is my first full odd shiny in Scarlet Violet ever. Like, I never got a full odd shiny my first time playing through before I got Charm or before I started doing Outbreak Hunting. This is... Whoa! Okay, so I guess that means we're not hunting Sand Isle for this one. And I was literally planning on hunting Ghastly in the next video for part two for badges. 7 through 12. I was playing on hunting Ghastly in there. Oh my god. Whoa. That's insane. I I can't believe this. Ghosts love me, y'all. I'm a ghost type trainer. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. Well, shit, little lady. I was not ready for you. Oh, I didn't buy more balls. Oh, shit. Hopefully, 15 Pokeballs and 2 Great Balls is enough. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I do already have Ghastly registered, I suppose. I uh, must have traded a shiny one over because, like I said before, this is, like, my storage for all my spare shinies and everything that I will be doing something with. I'm not just hoarding shinies for nothing. Um, I do have plans for those in the future. That's just a full shiny- and I saw it! I saw it! How did I notice that that was a shiny ghastly immediately? Literally, I was going along and I was like, Oh, wouldn't it be funny if one of these things was shiny? And then- Ugh. Like, I didn't say it, but I was thinking it. I'm always thinking it, but like- Ugh. That's insane. Okay, well, I guess this ghastly is going with us into the fire team star. I was planning on getting sand dial to have as a ground type, but like- how- how can I deny? How can I deny? For real, for real. Guys, we need... We need a nickname. Oh wait, no, I know what her name is. I know what her name is. I know what her name is. I know, I know, I know. This is Morticia. You know, the mom from the Wednesday- Not the Wednesday, from the Addams Family. 
this is Morticia. And I love her. Oh my god. That's a full-on shiny ghastly. I didn't think I would get a full odds while I was doing sandwiches and everything, but I guess it happens sometimes. That's insane. Oh my god, I love her so much. What the manky? Hold up. So I just realized, y'all, that we never did a nature guess for Rhea, and we need to do a nature guess for Morticia. So, starting with Rhea, I'm gonna nature guess Hasty because that was a very fast shiny. I can't believe I keep forgetting to do nature guesses. All right, we got Adamant from Talia, Hasty from Ryan, Hardy from Red. I also say Hasty. She is naive. I feel like I got another naive shiny. No, who was it? Who was it? Was it? Oh, it was Athena who is naive. Okay, so we got a couple of dumbasses on our team. Okay, and let's see. Nature guess for Morticia. Hmm. I'm gonna say Impish because. That shined when I wasn't recording, so I'm gonna have to go and pull that from the VOD, and that was a- that was a neat little trick. That's a neat little trick to make my heart fucking stop. Alright, Ryan says bold, Red says hardy again, me and Talia both say impish. She is... modest. I think that's... Is that? That's terrible. <laughs> I think that's terrible for... Gengar? Wait a minute. No, Gassy's a special attacker. Is Gengar a special attacker? Hold up. Genuinely don't know here. If Gengar is a special attacker, oh wait, it might be a special attacker because it uses like Shadow Ball and Dazzling Gleam and such. Hey Jesse, is Ghastly or is Gengar physical or special? Special. Oh, it's modest. So that's actually goaded. Okay. Also, I got a full on Ghastly. Okay, well, shit, I guess we're gonna go do the Fire Team Star base now. Okay, let's get it, y'all. This base belongs to Team Star. Well,. Too bad. Um, I'm gonna murder you. No, I'm gonna battle you. Yes, that's that's what we say in this game. No kill. We no kill. Oh, there's Morticia. So cool. Um, but that's a dark type. So Morticia, you made a cool little appearance. But um, let's let Ray take it from here. Okay, catch you later, Red. Have a lovely night. Thank you for being here. You are amazing. Oh my. Uh, let's stone this dog. Please one shot. Oh, it didn't one shot. Oh, how is that level 25? Hold up. All right, Poe, you got this. You got this. You got this. Fight. Ah ha ha ha. That does nothing. Yep. Yeah. Fucked. I think I'm gonna do a lot here. Yeah, we got this, we got this, we got this. Aw, oh, does the little grunt only have one Pokemon? How sad. Oh no. Are you that kid that declared war on Team Star? Call me Toxime TTV at your service. I just realized it said the first three Pokemon in my party. Um who is the first three Pokemon in my party? And do I get to battle with my whole party once I uh, go into the actual battle? Get it. Kill, murder. Murder time, murder time. We're on a killing spree. It's so weird that they let you like throw out multiple Pokemon at once here, but they don't like let you do that anywhere else in the game. Like anywhere else in the game, you literally only have like the one Pokemon. Is that Charlos? Don't tell me that was Charlos I just killed. You got this, Athena. Athena's the hard carry here. Athena's the hard carry here. There's one more group to go, Athena. You got this, girl. Look at her murder. Look at her do her thing. She's amazing. Breathtaking. Such a good bird, y'all. Such a good bird. Here comes the big rev of room. Okay, okay. I get my full team now, right? It's not just those three Pokemon. Because, uh, yeah, I I did not bring the most optimal Pokemon for that battle. Alright, let's get this. It's okay, it's okay. Morticia's gonna get some good experience, but yeah, okay, we do have the full team. We do have the full team. Oh, it'd be so cool if Ruler Coley also had the Steam Engine ability. Rock resists already, and... I'm not fire attack yet, but do I have the... No, I don't have the... The steam engine ability yet. Okay, that's fine. 
I should know my Pokemon's abilities and everything, but I mean, who doesn't just kind of go into a Pokemon game raw dogging it? Like, even if you've played it before, it's like, have you really? Do you have any memory of this? Because I usually don't. Every time I play a Pokemon game, I'm playing it for basically the first time. Okay, okay. Not a big fan of this so far. I don't want Rhea to faint. So I'm gonna have to probably swap out here. Yeah, see, this right here, this is why I wanted to have the ground type, because it'd be quad effective. But instead... Oh, this is only mono fire. It's not fire steel, is it? Interesting, interesting. You know what? Poe's got this. Poe's got this taken care of. Poe's the MVP. You got this, buddy. You got this. Overheat. Oof. Actually, that doesn't do too much damage. That doesn't do too much. And now a special attack is super down. But its speed is up. So it was already going to outspeed no matter what. I'm going to get a fake out off. And then I'm probably going to tear a arm thrust. What like good is Screech if you're using special attacks on me, though? Like, for real, for real. You know what? I I'm not gonna tear it yet. I'm gonna get one bulk up off to get my attack up. Good job dodging that Screech. Yeah, this thing is just getting very fast, but that's okay. Okay, Terror Force Palm. Let's go. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's so shiny. Yeah, that does nothing after the special attack drop from last time. This thing ain't got shit for us. Still not a lot of damage, though, all things considered. Okay, we're just gonna mash Force Palm through this. The only Force Palm was, like, uh, Fury Cutter. And it got stronger each time. Yeah, this is easy dubs. Easy dubs. It only has overheat, doesn't it? What the hell? They didn't give this thing a steel type move or anything? Yeah, you landed the Screech, but you don't have any physical moves to hit me with, dude. Sorry, but they kind of just designed you to be bad. They designed you to be easy, and I'm so sorry. You deserve more than that. You funky little car. Why do I feel bad for the Revivroom? Why do I feel like I just killed the Revivroom? I was literally just saying, we don't kill here. That rev room is like, eyes closed, tongue out, eh, dead. Like, what the hell? That gas of yours really let us have it. <laughs> Thanks, she did nothing. Take this star badge and be proud of yourself. See, why do they give out badges when you defeat them? Like, if someone gets into a fist fight with me on the street, or like, in front of my apartment, and they fight me, like, I'm not giving them a badge. Why is the Pokemon world like this? Also, we did it! I'm just saying, giving a badge to me is kind of a weird thing. It's like, unless they're expecting to be taken down. Like, they heard about Operation Starfall, and they're like, Oh, we can make badges out of this, y'all. We can be just like the gyms. For our final badge, we were going to the Electric Gym at Lavincia, and because of Morticia, we were lacking a ground type on the team. It was easiest to just swap the Sand Owl Hunt with the Ghastly Hunt I was going to do in Part 2, so I just moved on to Target 6, Sandy Ghast. Palisand is one of my favorite shinies ever, and I have lots of nostalgia for Palisand from back when I got back into Pokemon during the Sun and Moon era. My luck this video has been incredible, so it only stands to reason that I'd be in for a long hunt, right? Oh my god, that's the shiny already, y'all! Yo, I literally just made this sandwich. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I swear I don't have the shiny charm. Like, look at my Pokedex, y'all. Look at my Pokedex. Hold up. I know there's a shiny right in front of me, but, like, yeah, I have shiny storage on here, and I filled out a good part of the decks compared to where I am in the game, but, like, I've only caught 177. That's the shiny already. Are you kidding me? I just came back from break and like, 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 what? Hey, dude. 
Shit, okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have some time to kill tonight on stream when we're done with this part of the video. Holy shit. And it's another girl! Oh, okay, I actually think I know what I want to name her, and it's gonna be so good. Let's swap out a Morticia really quick, and just like, yeah. Let's swap out a Morticia really quick. And look, look, we're, we're catching her right outside of Mufariyama. We're catching her right outside of Lavincia, which is the badge that we're going for next with the shiny. This is so cool. This is literally so cool. I think I had this one registered to the Pokédex, so... So it'll be a crit capture if we get her, when we get her. Oh, kind of like that. Okay, let's go. Oh, that is so cool. That's so neat. I am in love. I'm in love. I'm guessing Hasty again. Her name is Velma, because when I think of Pil or Palisand and Sandygast of, like, Haunted Sandcastle, I think that's some real Scooby-Doo type of shit right there, you know? And, yeah, Velma, Scooby-Doo. Do I need to say more? This is her name. Alright, so I'm guessing Hasty Ryan says Adamant. She is... Impish, and she's marked! <gasps> Y'all, the last shiny of part one of the badge quest, and it's marked! Okay, y'all, this could be really cool, it could be really basic. Regardless, I'm still super happy to just have a mark. We're gonna check her in three, two, one. <gasps> She's sleepy! She's sleepy! Aw, it's because she's up all night solving crime and solving mysteries. Because she's, she's part of the Scooby-Doo gang. Oh, that's so cool. Impish little one. Okay, I see you. All right, well, before we go battle the gym at Lavincia, I'm gonna try and level up all of my guys to at least be fully evolved before then. So um, I guess here goes a quick little compilation of everyone leveling up and evolving. And there we go. Okay, so first up on the list is Velma, our most recent capture. Um, me and the chat talked, and instead of sitting here for like an hour and a half grinding random trainers and possibly adding more to the death counter, um, I don't know if this is cheating, but we just traded over some XP candy for my main account and we're using that. So we're only getting them up to a high enough level to where they're fully evolved so that we can show them off. So the gym battle might be a little easy, but I don't mind that. But here goes Velma. Oh, a hell yeah. Look at her. Yeah, she has the pink and blue seashells. She's amazing. I love her. Such an icon. Next. And here goes Candy. She's about to look like blue raspberry is what she's gonna look like. Oh, wait, yeah. I thought it was more blue than that, but I forgot. She Orpal. Okay, so she's more like a blueberry smoothie is what I think of when I see Shiny Ampharos. I love candy. Like, I don't like eating candy, but like this candy, I like candy. Grape flavored. Ew, no, grape flavored is gross. No, she's a blueberry. Look, she even has the little blueberry on her tail. That's adorable. Candy, I love you. All right, and here goes Rhea. Look at our girl go. We oh, they grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. And I just realized, I don't think I have enough XP candy to evolve her all the way into Colossal and get everyone else. So I'm probably gonna have to trade some more over and make this a two-parter. Oh, okay, sick, sick, sick. So, Rhea can evolve right now. I have one candy to get Ghastly and a Haunter and then I, then I can trade it. And I think Athena is like one battle away from leveling up. So we're actually gonna do exactly one trainer battle to level up Athena. Alrighty, here comes Morticia. She about to have that blue slurpy tongue. Hell yeah. Look at her go. So we will get Morticia up to being a Gengar as soon as we level up Athena really quick. So, I probably should have led with Athena. Oop. Okay, Athena, I need you to steal these keys for me. I need you to be a good little raven, like shiny things. Go get those keys. What the fuck is Fairy Lock? Okay. Oh, we'll be able to run away next turn. Hey, I'm not trying to. Oh no, I'm not very effective. Um, give me a second. Okay, how much does this do? 
That does enough. Oh, but he's Torment on me, so I won't be able to use that move next turn. Uh, Fury Attack, I guess. That does nothing. Okay, well. Alrighty, Clef Key dead. Is that it? Do you have a second Pokemon? Oh, she didn't level up all the way. Okay, let's go find another trainer. Y'all, I know exactly who we're gonna level up Athena against. Do you remember those Oink alone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. Our nemesis. This is the guy with the Oink alone, correct? Yes, it is. We're gonna get revenge, y'all. We're gonna get revenge this time. Kill that pig! Oh, not yet. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Kill that pig! There we go. Oh man, I can't believe this guy ever gave us any trouble. I can't believe he ever gave us any trouble, y'all. Kill that pig? Yes, okay. Oh, she's so close to leveling up. Literally, she needs like one more random Pokemon. Ah, oh, here, this Bramblin will do. I was hoping to have the Oinko one be the final foe to evolve her, but you know what? This will do too. Kill that Tumbleweed. Wait, did that not evolve her up either? Hold up. Y'all, I might be dumb. Hold up. Hold up. I might be dumb. Oh, it's 38, not 35. I'm a buffoon. Okay, I need to... I'm gonna have to trade over some more candy. And... Here we go with Athena. I end up just trading some more candy over from the other account. Or from my girlfriend's Switch. Which I'll have to set up her Switch to, um... To trade Morticia. Oh, that's so cool. I love Shiny Corviknight so much. Rookity is a vibe, like the little yellow ball is definitely a vibe, but like... Corvus Squire is a cool gray, and Corvid Knight is just beautiful. Though I will say I liked it more in Sword and Shield. It's kind of dulled down here and only looks good in certain lighting. Alright, so I'm on my girlfriend's Switch now, and we are trading Morticia over. Let's look at this beauty. Unfortunately, Shiny Gengar isn't all that special, but the fact that she was full odds will mean that this is like... Probably my second favorite Gengar ever. I have a shiny Alpha Gengar on Legends Arceus. That one will always be my favorite Gengar ever. Let's evolve her. Let's go, baby. It's okay, hon. You'll be back home soon. And you know what? It's somewhat noticeable. It's a little more matte. It's a little more gray. Yeah, I guess according to chat, she used blotting paper to make her skin less shiny. It's funny, the, the shiny is, like, more dull. Kind of ironic, right? I don't know. All I know is she's uh, probably not going to be used much in this gym because, uh, Miss Magius will fuck her up. Uh, but I have to use her. I didn't use her at all in the Fire Team Star thing. Yeah, you know we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're going to go do that now. Oh, this is a rival fight with Nimona now. Our first, like, actual rival fight since we've been able to have a team. Because we lost the first one because we only had an underleveled Fight Coco. All right, here we go, baby. This is one of your stronger Pokemon. Morticia, show them who's boss. Okay, that actually looks so good in the sunset lighting right now. Not gonna lie, Morticia looks so good. We're still over a level, so I think we're just gonna hit him with the hex. Oh yeah, this this dog is dead. Yeah, we might have over leveled for this gym a little bit, but I wanted everyone to be fully evolved, you know? Send out Pommy. You know what? You know what? We will switch it up. We will switch it up. Come on, Athena, you got this. Oh, come here, kitty boy. Come here. You want mama lap? You want mama's lap? Come here. Look at this little floof ball. Oh wait, is this thing not a fighting type yet? Is it just electric? Huh, I didn't know that. Well, this rat is still dead. Ah, oh, static, come on. Ooh, so scary. So scary. I'm changing the stream playlist to some battle music. Hold up. Oh, she terrestrializes and hold up. Here we go. The music is very important. Oh, I flinched. Ooh. Well, I moved first anyways. Did I? No. I wasn't paying attention to what happened. I must have missed or something. I'll have to see in editing. 
kill that cat. Not this kitty, though. This is a good boy. All right, we beat Nimona. Time to take on... What's her name again? I oh no, I forgot her name for a second. Yeah. Yo, what better way to end it? part one of the shiny badge quest than with a collab with our other favorite streamer. Yeah, it's Iono time. It's time for the Iono zone. God, she's so cute. She is just adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna match the energy. Come on. You're being broadcast live to the world right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what we're doing right here, Iono. Do you? Honey. To be fair, she probably has more people watching her stream than are watching mine right now, but we're on the front page of the Scarlet Violet page tonight, and like, we sit in good, we sit in good. Director Clavel, okay, what is his actual job? Like, what does he do? Like, this can't be all this guy does. Find him three times and you can consider the gym test passed. Okay, bet. Uh, he right there. He right there. Easy dubs. Oh, right, those gym trainers. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Mm, we're gonna hex this cat. Now, my lowest level is five levels above this guy. And one-shotting with hex. This is dirty. I definitely over-leveled. Part two and part three will be much better for level scaling because everything will be fully evolved and then some to be up to the right level. And then post-game, I'm still deciding what I want to do for post-game. Right, I think I know what I want to do for post-game, but what I want to do is, um, when I put out these videos, I'm gonna have all you guys who are watching right now in chat, as well as all of you in the comments, you- y'all that are watching the video right now, you guys are going to let me know who you want to see go into Area Zero and do the post-game with me. Oh yeah, and there he is. So it'll probably be two Pokemon from each of the three videos, part one, two, and three for badges one through 18. Two Pokemon from each video, y'all in the comments will let me know who should make it to the final team and go into Area Zero with me. And I would like to give credit for that great idea for a badge quest in Scarlet Violet and like doing the post game and everything that way to Gremlin Gremlin Connor from the Nova League. His videos that did it were just a masterpiece and inspired me to do this whole thing. So like, Really, shout out to him. Like, great videos right there. Yeah, we're just gonna hex this fish. We're just... <laughs> I don't know what to say. This isn't... Yeah. That's a Tynemo. What'd you think was gonna happen? Why'd they even put Tynemo in this game? Who thought... You know who needs to be in a 3D Switch game? Tynemo. Laffy. Hold up. Hold up. Mm. She only has electric moves. That wouldn't be very good. You know what? Poe's got this taken care of. Poe's got this. We're gonna fake out this Flaffy. Ooh, that does so much. And that's a dead sheep. All right, now where is Clavel this time? Oh, he down on the boat. Her subscriber numbers are on the rise. I hope my subscriber numbers go on the rise for my subathon that I'm doing later this month. Oh, also that's the whole challenge. Yeah. Honestly, the hardest part probably would have been the battles if I wasn't so over leveled. I should have swapped up my team to have someone else lead besides Morticia, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alrighty, here we go. She got them sharp ass teeth. She's so popular. OMG. Let's go. How am I feeling about this battle? Um, I'm ready to do my best. I should have said it like I can't lose, because there's literally no way I lose even a single Pokemon here. Right? Alright, here we go. Watch roll. Psh, easy dubs. Easy dubs. We're gonna hex this bird. And that's a dead bird. Yeah, this is basically just, hey, I'm gonna pick a couple of Pokemon to debut and show off the shinies while I rampage through her team. Well, let's give Rhea some love. Let's give Rhea some love. Unfortunately, Candy won't be seeing a lot of this battle because he only has, like, freaking electric moves and I can't use those here. Unfortunately, Candy will not be seeing a whole lot of combat in this video. Because I know she didn't, or he didn't. I keep wanting to say she. But she has four Pokemon. <laughs> Stupid idiot. You got flame bodied. Rhea, ancient power this cat. There we go. There we go. About to send in Belly Bolt. You know what? You know what? Poe, you got this. You got this, buddy. I probably outspeed so I can just get the priority fake out and then outspeed with Force Palm and get easy dubs. Ooh, that actually didn't do as much. I'm happy with that. 
level 23 versus level 28. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's not just a one-two knockout. Okay. Ooh, actually taking some damage in this battle. I like that. All right, Poe, I see you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not gonna let you die, but I'm not gonna let you get knocked out. That's a dead belly bolt. Send out Miss Magius. Yes. Even though she is gonna take super effective damage, I... Or, oh, wait, no. Velma can't... Oh, I should have used Velma earlier. Because Velma literally can't hit. No, oh, fuck it. I'm just literally gonna go for the Astonisher Giga Drain. Velma's a high enough level that she'll probably one-shot the Miss Magius anyways. I don't gotta worry about nothing. Velma the Sleepy. Let's go, baby. And I do not press the super effective button. Or, oh, wait, there won't be a super effective button, right? Okay, well, um, let's see what a Terrestrialized Astonish does from a level 43 Palosan to a level 24 or 25 Miss Magius. I think it was 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you have Levitate, so I'm not even gonna fuck around with the Bulldoze. Yeah, you're not the only one with the Terra Orb. Now what? Oh, oh, she outspeeds with Confuse Ray. Interesting. Well, I hope I don't hit myself. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Broke through the astonish or broke through the confusion. That's a dead Miss Magius. Okay. Yeah, this is not hard even in the slightest. Should I maybe not leveled everyone up and evolve them? Maybe. But this isn't supposed to be a challenge run. The fun of this is just playing with shinies that I've never played with before and playing with Pokemon that I've never played with before. You know, that's kind of the whole point of this. You win a gym badge. We did it. Let's go. Yeah, do what Iono said. And if you found our battle electrifying, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that's part one of the shiny badge quest. Badges one through six done. We did, what was it? Three gyms, two titans, one team star. So if you're still watching and you enjoyed this content, please smash that subscribe button just like Iono said. And uh, drop a like on the video if you enjoy this, want me to, to do more of it. I plan on finishing out the entire series like this and doing all the DLCs along with it and making batch quests out of those. So if you enjoyed it, if you're having fun, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop a comment about like what you're shiny hunting or if you found anything while watching or who your favorite person is. Not person, favorite Pokemon is. Out of these six Pokemon that we found in this video, what two do you want to see make it into Area Zero for the post game with me? Let me know in the comments and I'll be reading it for sure. So until then, have a good day. I love you all. Peace out.